In a previous lesson, we went over how you can use the various tools in Inkscape to draw straight lines and curved lines. But what if you have a line that's already drawn and you just want to smooth it out like you see here? That's what we'll be addressing in today's tutorial. So let's get started. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to draw a quick and sloppy line using the freehand lines tool, which is located over here in the toolbar, or you can access it by pressing the letter P on your keyboard. I'm going to come up here to the smoothing setting and bring that all the way down to zero. And then I'm going to click and drag on my canvas to draw a really rough, sloppy line like that. Now, if I go to the nodes tool, you can see over here, there's a lot going on in the way of nodes. And you can see here, we have a little bit of a, uh, like a hard corner right there. That's okay though, because we can salvage this path. Let's go to the path effects menu by going to path and selecting path effects. From the path effects menu, click the plus icon down here in the bottom left corner to add a new path effect. The path effect we're looking for is called simplify. So scroll through your list here and look for simplify, or you can type it into the search bar up here. I'm going to click on this checkbox right here to add this path effect. And once that's added, all you have to do is come down here to where it says roughly threshold and increase that value. So I'm going to hold a click over this plus icon here. And depending on how rough your path is, you may have to use a higher value. So I'm going to hold a click over this for a while. And if you notice, as I do that, it is slowly but surely becoming a smoother path. Now, if I want to increase this even more, I can come over here to where it says steps and start increasing that as well until I get an even smoother path. So every path will be different, but based on your drawing, you may have to use uh, a higher or lower value here. So I'm just going to cycle through the options and see what looks best. I think 10 looks good right about there. And this value looks good as well. So I'm going to leave this just as it is. So as you can see, we now have a much smoother path. And this is a temporary effect. If I come up here to where it says simplify, I can toggle the visibility of this off and on to get back to my original path. If I want to finalize this effect, I can come up here to where it says path and go to object to path. Now, if you notice here, although the line is a lot smoother, it's not quite perfect. There's a little bit of hard corners in here, but that's okay because we can iron those out manually. Let's come over here to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And if you notice, if you click on this node right here where we have a corner, we have these two handles coming off the sides of it. In order for this path, in order for this node to be smooth, we need these handles to be running parallel with each other. So I'm going to move these handles so that they're parallel with each other and we have a smooth path here. A quicker way to do that would be to just hold control and click on the node and it'll make them automatically smooth like that. And then you can just move the handles around like that to adjust it as needed. I'll come over here and do the same thing. I'll hold control and click on the node. And again, you can click on the node again and adjust the handles as needed. And I'll just go through here and adjust all of these nodes to ensure that they are all smooth and they all look the way I want them to look. And as I do so, I will adjust the handles so I have the right contour that I prefer. Now we have smoothed out that path. So that's how you can smooth out a rough path using Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.